Here's another record in the uh, Chronicles of Emperor Guang Wu. It's dated 31 AD. Translated, it reads, <clears throat> Summer, fourth month of the year on the day of Ren Wu, the imperial edict reads, Yin and Yang, darkness and light, have mistakenly switched, and the sun and the moon were eclipsed. The sins of all the people are now on one man. Pardon is proclaimed to all under heaven. The Chinese had no idea about Jesus in 31 AD. No Christian missionary would have gone to China because Jesus had just died. There weren't any Christian missionaries. And yet in their soul, in their spirit, they recorded this incredible statement in their history of the latter Han dynasty. And in their soul, they said this, this mysterious, unexpected darkening of the sun. The sins of all the people are upon one man. And pardon is proclaimed to all under heaven. They didn't know what they were writing. And it says here in the Annals number 18, of Gui Hai, eclipse on the day of Gui Hai, man from heaven died. They had no idea what they were writing. But the Holy Spirit would have spoken to those Chinese astronomers and the emperor, and in their soul, in their heart, they sensed that this unexpected darkening that lasted for three hours had something to do with a man in heaven dying from heaven dying and pardon for the sins of the world the Bible tells us it was about the sixth hour and there was darkness over all the earth until the ninth hour three days later the Chinese recorded a rainbow that encircled the sun like a halo. During the reign of Emperor Guangwu on the day of Bing, Bing Yin of the fourth month of Jan Wu, a halo, a rainbow encircled the sun. And that's found in the history of the latter Han, Annals number 18. And that is the resurrection of Jesus Christ. And I put it to you this morning, folks, that the ancient Chinese recorded the date of Christ's birth, the date of his death, and the date of his resurrection. 